Hi, welcome to this podcast, Famous Book Lessons and Summaries. Today, we'll be looking at 10 motivating lessons from the book, The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. And I'll begin with a quote from the book. How you wake up each day and your morning routine dramatically affects your levels of success in every single area of your life. A central theme of the miracle morning is that your level of personal responsibility for your life is tied directly to the level of power you have to create or change anything in your life. The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod is a six-step morning routine using what are called life savers, that is, silence, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribbling. Here are the 10 motivating lessons from the book, The Miracle Morning. 1. Take responsibility for your life. Don't put energy into wishing your life was different or easier or complaining about what should be. Focus your energy on making the best of what you have. We must accept responsibility for every aspect of our life and refuse to blame anyone or anything else. The degree to which you accept responsibility for everything in your life is precisely the degree of personal power you have to change or create anything in your life. By learning from our challenges, we can use them to add values to the lives of others and turn adversity into advantage. Take responsibility for your life. Lesson 2. Choose your story wisely. We cannot control everything that happens in our lives, but we do have the choice of what meaning to assign to those events. It is our responsibility to choose the most empowering reasons for the events and challenges of our lives. 3. Have faith in yourself and your worth. When you see others accomplishing what you want to accomplish, use that to motivate yourself rather than discourage you. Also remember, you are just as worthy, deserving, and capable of creating and sustaining extraordinary health wealth, happiness, love, and success in your life as any other person on earth. Lesson 4. Trust in your life. Yes, knowing that wherever you are in your life right now is both temporal and exactly where you are supposed to be. You have arrived at this moment to learn what you must learn. So, you can become the person you need to be to create the life you truly want. 5. Success comes through becoming a person who can be successful. You must develop yourself in the person you need to be to consistently attract, create, and sustain the level of success you want. This is why your morning routine is so important, to dedicate time each day to becoming the person you need to be to create and to sustain success. Until we dedicate this time to ourselves each day, success will always be a struggle to attain because success is something you attract by the person you become. 6. We all struggle against mediocrity. We all know what to do to be happier, and yet we all struggle to do those things. You have to make a choice of what matters most to you, the life you want to live, or your excuses. Every day, you and I wake up, we face the same universal challenge, which is to overcome mediocrity and live to our full potential. It's the greatest challenge in human history to rise above our excuses and create the life we truly want. Many of us want to truly love our life. Many of us want to truly love our work. And many of us want to truly love the people around us. That is their definition of success. That kind of life doesn't just happen. It must be designed. 
If you want to live an extraordinary life, then you must identify the fundamental causes of mediocrity so you can prevent them from robbing you of the life you want. 7. Your mornings becomes your days and your days becomes your life. How you wake up each day and your morning routine dramatically affects your levels of success in every single area of your life. Focused, productive, successful mornings generate focused, productive, successful days, which inevitably creates a successful life. In the same way that unfocused, unproductive, and mediocre mornings generate unfocused, unproductive, and mediocre days, and ultimately a mediocre quality of life. 8. Our past is not our future. We mistakenly believe that who we were is who we are, thus limiting our true potential in the present based on the limitations of our past. We filter every choice we make through the limitations of our past experiences. When presented with opportunities, we quickly check our rearview mirror to assess our past capabilities. We think, no, I've never done anything like that before. I've never achieved at that level. In fact, I've failed time and time again, keeping ourselves where we've always been. Where you are is a result of who you were, but where you go depends entirely on who you choose to be from this moment on. 9. Choose what is right versus what is easy. Every time you choose to do the easy thing instead of the right thing, you are shaping your identity, becoming the type of person who does what is easy rather than what is right. When the alarm goes off and we hit the snooze button, which is the easy thing, most people mistakenly assume that this action is only affecting this moment. The reality is that this type of action is programming our subconscious mind with instructions that it is okay for us not to follow through with the things we intended to do. Today is the most important day of your life. It matters more than any other time. Because the decisions you are making and actions you are taking determines who you are going to be for the rest of your life. 10. The way you wake up determines the life you live. When you delay waking up until you have to do, meaning you wait to get out of bed and start your day, consider that what you are actually doing is resisting your life. Every time you hit the snooze button, you are in a state of resistance to your day, to your life and to waking up and creating the life you say you want. Everyone wants to be happy, healthy, and successful. So you have it. The 10 motivating lessons from the book, The Miracle Morning. This series of podcasts was born to provide you with life lessons, business lessons, and summaries of your favorite bestsellers. Subscribe and follow us today from any platform you are listening to us from. And if there's any book you need a summary on, do let us know. Also, share your thoughts with me and I'll be glad to respond to you. I'm Onuzrike Chukwagozi. See you on the next one.